Hey there, Kara from Karen Co Creative, and I'm back with another tutorial. Today, we're going to do a super quick run through of Acuity scheduling so you can see all of the features that the paid plan has and also know how to set them up, um, just the core features that you will need to take appointments and add forms to those appointments, block off time on your calendar, and take payments as well. So let's get into it. Acuity has a few different payment plan options. Um, usually when you sign up, you're started on a trial of the business plan, which is sort of a $15 a month, like the first tier. I do recommend sticking with this plan as this gets you the ability to integrate your calendar. So if you use a Gmail, Google calendar, like I do, um, Outlook, Windows 365, any of those calendars, you can integrate them with Acuity so that if you put something on that calendar, it automatically blocks off your time and then you can't get double booked by a client. Um, so for that reason, primarily, I suggest staying with the paid plan. That also does give you a few other options, like having the time zones convert if you have clients other time zones and being able to set different availability types. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. So first off, when you get into Acuity, I tend to suggest that you go ahead and integrate a calendar. So here we have sync with calendars. You can see all of the options here on the left of things that integrates with. And you can see I have my Google Calendar active. So I have it set up here. And all you need to do is come here and select it. And if it's not in here, it'll give you options um, to go ahead and do that. So once you do that, you can hit save and your calendar is now integrated. And whenever you put something onto your calendar, it'll automatically block off that time in Acuity scheduling. Next, you can set your availability. So essentially you're not gonna block off like, you know, 11 p.m. until 7 a.m. saying that you're sleeping. So we need to tell the calendar not to let them book during that time. So this is where we have your availability. And you can see here, I have a plan that allows me to have different appointment types. That's because I don't take phone calls every day of the work week. Um, and I only offer certain services on certain days. And this is how you go about doing that. So you have different groups and all you need to do is go ahead and if you're just starting out and doing this, you're not gonna have multiple appointment types yet. So we can get to that later, but you can set your core business availability, which will basically look like this, edit availability and limits. Just type in whatever hours you want to be available to take calls or different appointments with your clients. Sorry, my cat is visiting us. I don't need your help, thank you. Um, and then once you're done setting those, you just hit set hours of availability and then save regular hours and then you'll be all set to change a group once you have multiple different appointment types all you need to do is to edit the group and you can select one of these you can see expiration call is down here if i select it here I'm sorry my cat is you can see it's automatically up here now and it was removed from here likewise if i come here and i say put this back there save changes it comes back so it's that easy so you see that there are multiple appointment types. You create those here in appointment types. First, I would suggest if you are creating appointment types where you need more information than like their contact, their email and their phone number, you create an intake form. So see here, I have a number of different um, intake forms. So you can go ahead and if you're a health coach, like many of my clients are, you can create your health history form right here in Acuity. Um, for me, sometimes with clients, even just booking their first exploratory call, I like to know what stage of the website process they're in, what type of build they want to do with me. So I have a form for that. So create your forms and then in your appointment types, this is where you can add a new one, new type of service or a new type of group class. The difference between these two is a service. Only one person can book into a time slot, a group class, multiple people can book and you'll set sort of an availability limit on that appointment um, and you'll see here you can pay right through acuity as well i have prices here if you don't add a payment gateway basically the appointment will book and you'll be called upon to then send them an invoice or something later to collect your fees i don't recommend doing that instead i recommend coming down here and doing payment settings and here you can just go ahead and select what you want to connect it integrates with paypal square and stripe um, I have it, you see with PayPal, you can also do both Stripe and PayPal or both Square and PayPal. That's up to you. If you click, if you click on whichever option you want to use, it'll prompt you to go ahead and connect it. Um, so here you see that with Acuity, you can go ahead and um, do everything from your client booking all the way through your 
intake form, payment, and you don't have to worry about any sort of calendar issues because your calendar will be integrated with Acuity. Um, it's really easy to set up. So it's something that I recommend. If you need help with it, as always, drop a question or comment below. You can also check out the associated blog post um, in the show notes, well, not the show notes, the video notes below. And um, if this video is helpful to you, please drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. All right, thanks, and we'll see you next time.